King Human here, and uh, I put up a video uh, a few days ago about ebooks and one of the things that I do uh, to make money. And uh, I every time I do a video on how to make money online, that kind of thing, I just get swamped with emails. So I thought I would do a couple of things, and this is one of them. I thought I'd make a ongoing series on how to do eBay and how to do it right. Because a lot of people do eBay, but very few of them do it right. And I'm an eBay master. I've been on eBay ever since eBay first started. It was free when I joined. Now it's FeeBay. I mean, it's huge. But everybody can do eBay, but not everybody can do it well or do it right. Now, I'm going to teach you guys in the next, uh, you know, few months how to do it and how to do it right. I'll share, share some anecdotes, show you some tips, show you some tricks to help you get it right. Um, for instance, I have a friend. He's a science geek. He's got a garage full of electronics, parts, and and industrial things and you know he he came to me and he said Dave I wanna learn how to do eBay and make some extra money so I said go in your garage grab something bring it over and we'll eBay it and I'll show you how to do eBay the right way he showed up with a box of electric motors <laughs> what the hell <laughs> electric motors and they spun really slowly I mean what the hell can I do with electric motors. The only option he thought was to put them on eBay in the industrial section and I knew if we did that we'd get maybe a dollar a piece for these things. And then he comes and he says, you know Dave, I did try to sell these things because I go to the electronic flea market and I put these things out and I have, you know, the guy had several dozen of these things. He couldn't get five bucks for the whole lot of them. So that told me it was a real dog. Oh my god, how am I going to sell this? So what I did was, thought about it for a few minutes, then I, I took the motor, took some kick-ass pictures and, and made a kick-ass eBay ad in an HTML editor, a good HTML editor, put my verbal spin on it, and I'll show all of you guys this in upcoming videos. Anyway, we cross-marketed it. I didn't put it in the industrial section. I put it in the Halloween section, the Halloween collectibles. And I took that motor, and instead of selling it for a buck, I sold it as an uh, animatronic monster motor. And you can use this to animate your static props. For Halloween and you know what those motors sold like gangbusters he was selling them for uh, I think on the low side he was selling for 25 bucks a pop and on the high side 75 bucks or 50 or 75 bucks a piece so that box of crap that he couldn't get five bucks for before now all of a sudden that thing became worth I don't know three four thousand bucks to him and it's all because we took a thing and instead of doing the obvious, we cross-marketed and found a new niche market and a new way to market that thing. So that's your first lesson. You have to think abstractly when it comes to selling things on eBay. So if you're going out there and you're looking for something to sell on eBay, you can't just think on the superficial level. You have to think on several different levels. And again, I'll show you more about that later, but I just want to wet your whistle here and see if there's any interest in learning more about how to do eBay the right way. All right, people, think on that, and uh, hopefully I'll be doing more of these and uh, get you guys into making money for yourself. Cheers.